Time now for the first grocer, Tony Tantillo. Today it's Stephanie and Tony's table. They're making a pasta dish with potatoes and salami. Fresh pasta, very freshly made. We have some baby Congo potatoes, salami. What else? And tomatoes. And tomatoes <laughs> and garlic. And look how beautiful this looks right here. Take a look at that. Loaded with flavor, and I love this. I do love it too, especially I love the way you make it in the beginning because yeah. you let the salami heat up and some of that fat renders out, and then we start cooking these potatoes. And you don't have to boil them beforehand, they don't need to be blanched. No. They cook very quickly in the sauce already, and those tomatoes just add that nice sweetness that you really need with that. And then the uh, pasta would cook for only about two minutes, huh? Only about two That's minutes it. in there, and then we put it in here. But be careful because fresh pasta can stick to itself, so coat it in some oil before you throw it in. Now, maybe you can't go potatoes, a quick tip when you buy them, you want to make sure, oh, they're right there. Beautiful color all the way around, free from any sprouting whatsoever. And you bring them home in the refrigerator right away. I love these tomatoes, I mean, potatoes. They are loaded with flavor. I just looked at those tomatoes there. I was thinking, we should add a little bit more tomatoes, but I think we're okay. I think stuff. we're okay too, because, you know, they've broken down a lot in here and they've yeah. created a nice broth, and we've been adding in some pasta water. Now, can you put in some parsley? Okay. Pasta water is good because it helps the tomatoes make a broth and it also helps prevent sticking to the pan. Okay. Two. We didn't add any salt because obviously the salt right in the salami there. But when Look you cook that. the pasta, make sure that water is very, very salted. Oh, that looks beautiful. 